My friend Becky and I are at Hurricane Ridge and we've realized that it's going to be kind of late getting back to our camp and so I'm going to start making some split pea soup uh, for dinner tonight and I'll show you what's out that front window um, because it is spectacular and I'm going to show you how to make the split pea soup in the instant pot. Okay, I have my ingredients out other than the split peas, but I'll get those. Um, so I've got some onion that's already cut up. I've got um, a, one stalk of celery that's already washed. I've got some washed carrots. Um, I also have some bok choy because it needs to be used and it won't be bad in split pea soup. And so I'm going to throw that in. Uh, seasonings, I've got sage, salt and pepper, cayenne, and turmeric. One other ingredient that I'll start with is the coconut oil. So I'll throw that in for the onions. Just to note that my batteries are at 88% right now. While the coconut oil is heating up, I'm going to start chopping some vegetables. There's no particular reason why I have one yellow carrot other than that this was just a bag of mixed carrots. Keep in mind I don't measure anything, so it makes it a little hard to follow my recipes, but pepper, salt, just a little bit of cayenne, makes everything taste just a little better, turmeric. Okay, that wasn't the full five minutes on the saute, but it seems like that's enough. Uh, my batteries are now at 87%. Next, you want to sort your peas. Um, remember that this is a natural product, so there could be some um, pebbles in it. So you want to also take out any of the smaller discolored ones. Okay, next you're going to just rinse these off and put them in the pot. I have already washed my bok choy. I'm going to trim the ends and then just chop them up. Again, the bok choy wouldn't be in your normal recipe. Don't go out and buy bok choy just to make split pea soup. It's just that I needed to use it. Okay, now everything's in the soup pot except for the water. I filled the water to um, about halfway between the halfway and the max. Um, because these are split peas, um, they could froth a little bit, so you don't want to go all the way to the max. Next time I put the lid on, making sure that this is pointed as far back as possible. Makes the weird sound. Then I hit pressure, and it's already at three minutes. I think that's probably good for split pea soup. One of the great things about the Instant Pot is that I can just set it to go, and now we're going to go hike while it cooks our dinner for us. One of the songs from The Sound of Music in my head earlier today, and now I kind of see why. It doesn't this look like the setting for Sound of Music. We just got back to the van from hiking around. Uh, the soup has been on keep warm for a little over an hour and it's time to open up and have some magic soup. I consider split pea soup to be a magic soup because it's so basic and it turns into such amazing food. All right, so I just checked the battery and it's at 86% and now it's time to open this up. 
Okay, it looks a little weird because of the bok choy, which isn't normally in split pea soup. And remember that this little handle over here holds the lid. And so I'm gonna stir this up and uh, see it smells amazing. Okay, that looks better now that I've stirred it. Looks absolutely delicious. All right, what'd you think, Becky? Two thumbs up. Awesome. Delicious. There's absolutely nothing like coming home from a hike and having a hot soup ready for you when you're all done, right? It was great. Yeah. All right, this is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey. Mm -hmm.